Day 24 of that RV life, bruh. Hi. So, um, another sleep. This is a long sleep, too. We didn't get up and uh, exercise today. We have a new exercise schedule um, where it's just Monday, Tuesday, off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, either Saturday or Sunday. And that is determined by how we feel Saturday morning and how we feel Sunday morning. <laughs> So, so we'll probably just go get breakfast instead. One of those days will be a breakfast day. And maybe both of them. Because I don't mind going to work out and then go get something to eat. I'll go get something to eat and go work out. Because I don't, and it never bothered me. Anyway. Um, I don't want to jinx it. But I think the Flex Seal may have helped at least. For the leak in the black tank. So with the patch piece that we have on it. And the actual spray that I put, I put like four coats of the spray yesterday, but it was still leaking as I was trying to spray. Um, it may have stopped it enough to where we can get to a more manageable uh, situation. Like um, it costs money, and I don't want to, I don't want to put any more money into the thing. And, um, and then we have to take it there. Whew, yeah, so that means we have to go stay somewhere which we definitely don't want to do i mean i tell you what emily was kind of bummed when i said hey we gotta go in the rv it's time but she was really bummed when i told her hey we gotta go to crappy motel <laughs> she was like nope not today satan so just too much packing stuff yeah i was thinking a pro tip could be we don't do this but a pro tip could be um you should have luggage on board your rv if for for specifically like if you have to put it you have to get it repaired you could pack your bag or you could have a bug out bag i have a bug out bag but it is not ready to go so i am not prepared but if you had like a little you know a small roller board or whatever um and it could be boat for both of you you know just a couple of days of change clothes uh you know and a couple of bags for personal items that way you just grab it you know and you go to a hotel or if you want to stay, with, if you're in the RV, but you're going to just stay over with some friends because you're out of town visiting or something. And most RVers probably already know this. We are new RVers. So I would say a good pro tip would be get a rollerboard, put it in this thing, stow it somewhere. Um, and if you have enough clothes like Emily does, just pack two changes of clothes in it and you'll never even know. And you'll never have to pack it. That's how many clothes you have. Baby, do you have uh, do you have any pro tips for day twenty four of that RV life, bruh? Get better at Nintendo. Oh, dude, our little baby Nintendo came in and it's got like thirty games installed, and they're fantastic. And last night we got through the arcade Mario Brothers, the Super Mario Brothers that actually came with the original NES, and some Pac Man. And Pac Man is tough to play without a joystick. So, also, we hadn't really figured out uh, how to, like, permanently install the game system. I think what I may do is Velcro that bad boy to the TV <laughs> and just be able to reach up there, like on the back of the TV, where you can't even see it. Okay. And then that away, it's out of the way, and the only thing we have to pick up are the controllers. Right now, i got to pick the whole system up when we're finished playing it. And I've got a sneaking suspicion since we're going to be using it in lieu of being on the internet or watching streaming video. We'll probably be using it a good bit. But would you say that it brought instant joy? It did. It brought instant joy. When I heard, the, when I powered it up and I heard the 8-bit music, I was like, this is going to be less crappy than my day was today. <laughs> And it was, it was so fun. So, um, if you don't have one, they're relatively inexpensive. Um, and if you just, you know, want a cool Christmas present for your wife or your husband or your significant other, um, it's cool. It's a fun thing. Uh, it's probably for more, uh, older, elderly people like myself. But, uh, even if you're, if they're a gamer, you know, they'd be into it, so... It's just another thing to have, you know, take up space in your house. More junk, you know, 
That's what we need. That we don't need. But it is fun. It does bring joy. So there's something important about having things that bring you joy. You know, when you're bummed out. Like some people like to read. I'm not that people. Um, so yeah. Pro tip. Bring a roller board. Uh, say a prayer for the flex seal holding the poop inside of the black tank. Pray that it has the strength of a, a thousand horses. I don't really know what you would need. Um, and I believe that's it. Uh, we're going to do that outside tour pretty soon. Um, I wanted Emily to do it, but she doesn't know anything about what's going on out there. So I don't. I'm going to probably do that. I hate, I'm so sorry to disappoint everybody. Because as soon as you did your thing, they're like, oh, thank God that Emily's doing it. You're... No one likes you, Justin. And I'm like, I Nobody don't care. said that. That's basically the vibe I was getting. They're like, we really like Emily. We don't really care what you have to say. And I'm like, I can get behind that, actually. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to do that one. And then we'll talk about <laughs> our leak workaround. Uh, and how serendipitous it was to have the uh, awning pulled off the side of the... RV and how we were able to use it as a patch. I actually even saved other pieces and rolled them up and put them in the uh, storage <laughs> just in case. <laughs> so there you go. Um, thanks for tuning in. That's day 24 and uh, we will see y'all tomorrow. I have decided, I would like to state for the record, sorry I know you thought this was going to wrap up, but it's not. <laughs> I've decided for the record that after 30 days we're just going to do a one a week. So uh, <clears throat> There you go. Enjoy. This is 24, six more days, one a week. Bye. Uh, bye.